Welcome back to Twin Cities Live. Thanks for uh, starting your weekend with us here. So Elizabeth returns on Monday. So big thanks to Kelly Hansen for filling in today. You're so welcome. Okay, this Sunday is Easter, a time where families will gather for church, egg hunts, visits from the Easter Bunny, and a sit-down meal. So if you're planning to host or need to bring a, maybe a housewarming <laughs> gift, our wine guy has suggestions to pair with your meals. So from Haskell's, everybody, we welcome our very own Easter Bunny, Spiffy. Ted Farrell. I like that on you. It, it fits you well. That looks well, really nice. Well, the ears are far better than a toupee, so. <laughs> that is but true. I prefer actually what you're wearing today. This outfit is something. Are you wearing this on Easter Sunday, or do you have more of this plaid? There's more of a little bit of everything in I the like old it. Ted Farrell wardrobe. There's always something, and it's Easter, and it might as well be an Easter egg yourself. I really like it. Okay, so wines to go uh, that will go with your Easter plans, right? Whether you're just going to have a nice, relaxing day at home, or you need wine because you're going to be with a lot of family. <laughs> Work, well, you always need wine when you're with a lot of family, no matter what. So, But we've got a little bit of everything to start it all out. And what we're going to start out with is a little Casa Forelli Prosecco. So when everybody shows up to the house, you've been getting everything ready. Everything stays. There's still some things in the oven. You're nervous. You don't know which way to go. You pour out the Prosecco and start everything out and just have a good time. It eases your mood. It will ease your guest mood. But That's it's a great, great way to start things. It's crisp. Ooh. It's fresh. The bubbles kind of get your palate ready yeah. for whatever you have this on the docket. This is great. There's, it's, it's oddly flavorful before you even drink mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. It's the wonderful bouquet. Now, Prosecco's mm -hmm. had some interesting changes. They used the Galera grape years years ago. It was called the Prosecco grape, but the people who make Prosecco want to defend it the way the Champenois want champagne developed or protected as a particular spirit of uh, Italy. So now it's a Galera grape in the Prosecco region. Mm. So the Prosecco, uh, nice, very approachable, Yummy. subtle fizz, nothing over the top, but just delicious. Yeah, you're right. Mm, it's a very, very subtle good. fizz. Okay, so everybody comes into the door, you do your hugs, you get your Prosecco, and now all of a sudden it's meal time, and the classic meal for Easter is ham. You are correct. What are you going to pair with the ham? Well, with the ham, you know, there's so many different derivations of the ham. So this is, covers all the bases. So sometimes you have a smoked ham, sometimes there's that honey glaze that, you know, Know, but it's a blend of everything. There's sugar, there's sweet, there's smoke, there's dry, there's mm. salt especially, and nothing better than a Riesling. You know, the Germans do make a lot of ham over there and they make a lot of Riesling, so it's a match made in heaven. And the Stittman Riesling is a great way to match that out. A little bit of residual sugar on them, mm -hmm. so, you know, maybe if you have a, don't like a sweeter wine, this might not be your guy, but this one in particular goes so yeah. well with that smoky salt with a little bit of sweetness on the ham. I like this yeah. a lot. And you've always talked about, you know, when it comes to wines, it really is what, whatever you want to do with it. Like, we don't have to be all pretentious about it's got to match this and this, this time of the meal. And usually Rieslings are kind of a dessert wine. They, yeah. They're actually a little bit of everything wine. You know, if you're in Germany, you'll see them with throughout the really? entire meal. You know, even if you're having a big sour brat, and they might have a, a cabinet that they do it with. So, yes, there is a bit of misnomer since it is a sweet wine. You could serve it with desserts. Mm -hmm. they're, the world's your oyster. There's no rules. It's just the biggest rule is if you like it, Drink, drink it. it. All right. Well, let's drink some more. Uh, let's talk about a wine that will go with anything that you serve, whether it's like steaks like we're having or ham. Yeah, or ham. You know, the Provenor of Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir, I think, is one of the most versatile red wine varietals there is. It goes so well with everything. Now, this one screams serve it with some salmon. Uh, mm. As a few of my friends say, salmon's that other red meat, but mm -hmm. this goes so well with it. It's a bigger, flakier, heavier mm. fish, but then it That's doesn't right. get overpowered by this. It goes so well with it. So if you're kind of, you know, you don't know what you're doing or you're undecided or you have a huge uh, smorgasbord, so to speak, of everything to eat, probably is going to be delicious. Great. Yeah, this is just a good drinking wine. You're, you're right. It doesn't matter. You could you could have ham, you could have turkey, you could have steak. I don't care what you're going to have. Like, this, this is going to pair well with everything. Everything. You're just going to enjoy it. So there's some black cherry notes to it, a little bit of vanilla mm -hmm. on the nose as well, but it goes so well and it's so easy drinking that and it's, uh, I've been drinking it since I showed up. So it's <laughs> and it's $12.99. It's so that's easy. That's a really it's, good price. You said it. Wow. You know, and that's the other hook. You don't want that price tag inhibition. So sometimes when you buy a really expensive wine and you're going to serve it to all your guests, you're a little bit on pins and needles because, mm -hmm. you, again, you spent it all, spent a lot of money on it, and some people might not like it, but this one everyone's going to enjoy. That's a good one. Okay. All right. Yep. This last one you have sort of paired maybe with a lamb or maybe you're going to go a little bolder and have a roast, like a big, you know, juicy red dark meat. 
What do you like about this one? I like this because it is a bigger, bolder flavor. At our house on Easter, we serve lamb. I love to do a big leg of lamb, kind of in the classic style, uh, with a lot of garlic, a lot of uh, herb de Provence. And this one will marry well with that. Mm. Lamb has that real grassy, mm. herbaceous flavor to it. And this one will hang in there and, you know, uh, just be with it. And the same note, if you're doing a bigger roast, like a big beef roast, this is your guy because it has that big structure, full flavored, and you enjoy yeah. it. And just sit down, mm. enjoy your meal, and have good at it. If you like a red, you're going to love this. Well, I was going to say, it, it is it is bold good. looking, right? It's like it, there's like deep, there's like a depth to the color. Like it just looks pretty, but it's really light. You can see that dark kind of garnet color to it without a doubt. And here's a little trick too. Cabernet goes brilliantly with chocolate. Oh, that, that austere finish on it, 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 so once you're done with that big roast, and maybe there might be a few little chocolate eggs around, try a little bit of that with the chocolate, with the sip or of that. Or just take egg, the hollow chocolate mat. bunny. Well, bite its ears down. off or do whatever you do with it, but then have a sip of the Vina Roble, so you know it's going to be good. I want to mention real quick, you are closed Easter Sunday. So you are correct. So get your shopping done tomorrow. Yes, you are correct. Okay. So stop by tomorrow and get it all taken. And by the way... All of these wines will be open for tasting, so if you don't take my word for it on television, stop in the store and try yeah. one of the wines. You guys got to do that. that. Ted, I thank you that. so much. Ted, happy, happy, Easter. Easter. happy Easter. Cheers. Happy Easter. Cheers. Or you can stop by any of the Haskell's 11 Minnesota locations on Saturday to pick up these Easter pairings. Plus, they would pour in some samples like you just mentioned. Locations include Bloomington, Woodbury, and Plymouth. And a big congratulations to family-owned and operated Haskells. They are celebrating 90 years in business in honor of 90 years. And to kick off their annual spring wine sale, they're going to be hosting a birthday bash and tastings at all of their stores on Saturday, April 6th. You can learn more on TwinCitiesLive.com. Stick around. We'll be right back.